This is the rundown with Rubio for Wednesday, October 9th, 2024. Everything happens for a reason. So as you know, Sunday night, Kamala it was interviewed on 60 Minutes. They put out this, it, you know, however long a video it was. It was not the entire length of the 60 Minutes. But uh, they're getting some heat because they are now changing her answers. They are editing it to where one answer, for instance, she's got this real long word salad. You know she's famous for, where she says about a hundred words and nothing really comes of it. You're not sure what's happening because you never really answer the question. So they actually took an answer from a different question to a certain question there to make it look like, oh, instead of this word salad, it's boom, here's the answer. So 60 Minutes, who used to be like the top news organization, was this, oh my God, 60 Minutes is on. This is fantastic. This is the real hard-hitting news. Now they're editing it to make her look even better. That's really, really bad. And you want to talk about propaganda, my God. There are winners and losers in life. Kamala, like I said, is doing this media tour. She's all over the place. And so she's just jumping on these easy fluff interviews. The latest one was Stephen Colbert. Uh, they celebrated by, you know, drinking a beer together. Don't mind that North Carolina is still underwater and Florida is about to be underwater. There's other pressing issues, but let's have a beer. Number two, they talk about the illegal immigrant kids. And Stephen Colbert in 2020 was said, El Trumpo, you can't vote for him because he's lost 545 illegal immigrant kids. Five 545. Joey B and Kamala have admitted they've lost track of over 85,000 illegal immigrant kids. So 545 bad, 85,000? Nah, we won't talk about it. Okay. Except an embrace. El Trump home is now housing 275 Florida linemen free of charge in his Dorel Miami resort right in front of Milton. So all these linemen, these are the guys that go up on the telephone poles and fix all the electricity, blah, blah, blah. DeSantis has got them just lined up all over the state where the hurricane's not gonna hit. And now El Trumpo said, hey, give me 275 of them. I'll put them up in my resort until the hurricane's passed. Then we'll send them on out. Sounds like a good move to me. Working hard is not enough. <laughs> this was hilarious. So the government is, is helping out parts of North Carolina affected by the, the hurricane. Fantastic. One first thing they did is we're going to send you all, there were three pallets of chainsaws. Why chainsaws? Well, you need to cut down trees and remove debris and all that stuff so you can clear the roads, get everything going back to normal, get those linemen out there. The three pallets of chainsaws are all electric chainsaws. They don't have power. Who thought this was a good idea, man? Come on. You want to talk about government inefficiency? Good Lord. Confidence is the key. Doug Emhoff, this is Kamala's husband. He's been getting thrown under the bus. Remember, he had an affair with his nanny, who she got pregnant and lost the child. They don't know how that. And then there's this other lady said, oh, I was at Khan's music or festival in France, and he slapped me so hard because he thought I was cheating with a valet that I spot around. And now, quote, a foul mouth, he's a foul mouth a-hole and misogynist who hired a trophy secretary because she was pretty and retaliated, and he retaliated against women who didn't flirt back at an LA for, uh, law firm, ex-staff claim. So I don't know what's going on with this guy, but a lot of people are getting his skeletons out of the closet. And, you know, this is not a good look. At some point, Kamala might have to answer some questions of what's going on with this guy? Because remember, Jen Psaki just did an interview with Doug Emhoff said he's the new face of masculinity. So if he's the new face of masculinity, is this a good thing? And, and then also what happened to the old Me Too movement where we believe all women? So are we believe in just some women or all women or what's going on here? I don't know. If you have any questions, you can email Rubio therubiomethod.com. Let's get going, gang. Our dedicated staff is ready to work for you. Artbeat specializes in custom apparel. Call us or order online. Free shipping nationwide. Custom printed shirts are our specialty, and we make sure you get exactly what you want. Bring in your own design or let our team create one for you. Promote your business, event, or club with pens, caps, bottles, mugs, and more. Crazy Cool since 1985.